Greetings. Welcome back to Pink Odd Bird. Today we are going to start off our October daily with day number 15. And today's prompt is, did you see a pretty leaf today? Pick it up and preserve it in your book. So I did go for a couple of walks in a couple of different areas. And a lot of the leaves in my area were all the ones that were on the ground already were kind of already dying. So I decided to use this pressed rose, um, instead of a leaf because I had pressed some flowers recently. So, and I actually forgot about them. <laughs> so I went ahead and used the pressed rose. And then obviously that makes me think of Morticia. So here she is cutting off the bud of the rose. And then I just cut punched out two leaves and I wrote day 15 on those using a little embellishment from Nicola, added a little bit of lace and this spread is done. Moving into day number 16, I did decide to move the prompts around just to fit with my page better here. So the prompt that I rearranged for day 16 is, would you rather be friends with Jack Dracula or Frankenstein and why? So the differences between Dracula and Frankenstein to me is Dracula is kind of like a selfish monster. He basically sucks the life out of people and um, it's for only for his own selfish benefit, right? Um, where Frankenstein, yes, he was trying to be kind of like a god and create life. Um, however, when he created this life, he wild, wildly neglected the, his creation. And so on the left, you see here, I chose this page because we have Frankenstein's monster, which is what he was known as on the outside. But Frankenstein's monster on the inside was a, a man, like a gentle, a gentle person. And so that's why I chose creature from Penny Dreadful, because I feel like if I was Frankenstein's friend, I would be able to inter intervene and just be a friend to Frankenstein's monster and, um, you know, be nice to him and prevent him from doing all of the bad things that he did because he was so upset. Moving into day number 17 for me, the prompt today is, uh, save a wrapper from something you have eaten this week and write about it. Well, it's the time of year where world's finest chocolates are being sold. And my mom picked some up from my cousin. So my favorite candies out of these world's finest are the mint ones. So I've got two little mint wrappers here. And on the left side, I just took my sparkly mermaid markers and I'm just roughly drawing out some candy shapes and then going back to outline those in black. And then I'm going to just take a little bit of tape uh, onto the back of my wrappers and stick those down. And I've been using a lot of my embellishments from um, my friend Nicola. And so she sent me these really cute bows. And so I thought that would look cute here on this page. So I'm going to pop those on and save the cardstock that she put those bows on to write my little blurb about the candies that I ate this week. So really plain and simple here on this spread, nice and easy. And yeah, I think it's a cute, fun, colorful page. I don't think I have many colorful ones, but I like it. Moseying on over into day number 18. Today, the prompt for me is make two tombstone shaped tags and write about two things you have conquered this year. So this is basically your chance to say, hey, at the beginning of the year, I set out to conquer or overcome these things and now I can finally put them to rest. So I'm just keeping this layout pretty simple just because it's kind of like a little bit more a different kind of a meaning. Um, but still a little fun play with the Halloween, putting putting those worries or goals that you had to rest. So nice and simple. And I just chose to um, write down the two things that I wanted to overcome and then I'll write my little blurbs behind the tombstone tags. So that's it for this spread as well. So that's going to wrap it up for me for now. Be sure to stay tuned because you never know what direction this odd flock of ours is heading into and until next time, to the